Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm uh, going to give an update here on the 300 SDL that I've been fixing up, the 1987. So here she is. Basically uh, got some of these new glass headlamps on here. These are the Depot headlamps. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with them. They were, they're basically 150 bucks, just bare bones. So you gotta get the light bulbs and uh, uh, the socket to rewire it. There's the old style one. The beam is really strong from it too. When you put the H4, I'm just waiting for the other bulb and then I'll put the second one in. But uh, yeah, I've done a bunch of different things to the car. And so it's, uh, it's getting there. It still hasn't passed emissions. But at this point now, the interior is all swapped out from the uh, white car that I have over there. So I got the seats swapped out. Definitely, they're still not the best shape, but this is way, way, way better than it was before. The back seats are actually in great shape. Uh, the door panels are all switched over. I've got all the windows working. Windows are all working great. I can finally close this up. And so, yeah, the thing I've been struggling with the most has just been the coolant hoses under here basically burst and so I ended up making my own kind of hose and maybe I can just kind of show some highlights about that and so I did get some video over the the past uh, week or two where I've been doing projects like fixing the windows um, and then I got some pretty good video of the, of the hose I had to make in here too there's basically one that goes from the bottom of the radiator up uh, to the thermostat and then there's a T that goes to the expansion tank and so yeah I'll uh, add those clips in here usually I don't film at night but I'm over here and I'm going and uh, taking on this door and so this is one where the window is basically stuck and uh, the motor is dead so I'm gonna swap this out with one from the parts car. So I'm just getting ready to do that. Um, and uh, yeah, I took the door uh, check strap off and I was looking at that pretty crazy. So yeah, I'm swapping all the hardware as I go too. This is definitely the worst I've ever seen. So yeah, this is the one that was on the car and it's on top of a window regulator. So just kind of ignore that for right now, but this was, this is why the door wasn't staying open. Basically, yeah, you can even see there's a little ball on top where it goes from piece to piece. The bottom ball fell out and then somebody just put pieces of metal in there to kind of try to hold it in place. Basically, you know, as you go to the checkpoints, there's two points. Um, that's where the door will stop. And then you can get it going a little bit further to open the door all the way. So anyways, I, I have a feeling all the doors are bad like this because they all have the same problem. When you try to keep the door open, it just wants to keep closing. It doesn't stay. Here's the new one. And the, the quality so far looks pretty good. This is actually a Phoebe Bilstein part. So uh, basically where those balls go on top and on the bottom I just greased in there real good I greased the track um, greased over here too on this other side and so yeah this will be uh, good to go and um, there's a little plastic cover that comes on it too so I'll put that on there and then here's the window regulator I just got to clean this up a little bit this is a good working regulator and motor yeah it's a little dark I mean this is why I'm not I'm doing the work at nighttime just because it gets so hot here in the day. So, I mean, it's getting in, uh, in like up to 118 here at Fahrenheit, which is, I don't know, 47, 48 degrees Celsius. So yeah, here I got this thing replaced. You put it in with the plastic piece in here. You got your one bolt right here. And then when you go over in this corner, there's a one right here and then one right below the strap. Getting this off, you just kind of uh, turn this 
this is the piece that keeps it in there, this little pin, don't lose it. If, if you do lose it, you can get another one. Mercedes of uh, Chandler has helped me get these kind of parts. They can still get them, no problem. And then there's the little pin. So yeah, now it has the two points. So holds like it should. So here, looks pretty good. See, it goes right back to where it should be. Outer point, holds it. So way better. <laughs> I've just been propping this open with just a brick or whatever I had over here. So it's a way better improvement. Now I'm going to go ahead and do that window regulator. Here's another fun issue I'm working through. So this hose that goes there from the thermostat down to the lower radiator. And then there's a T that comes out, goes to the uh, coolant bottle here, the expansion tank that host burst right before I'm going to do emissions and finally get this thing passed. So right now I'm kind of making my own hose. So oh, this hose is big time, no longer available. And so, yeah, I just got one that I've cut. I got a T here. I'm just kind of shaping. And then there's where I need to go to. There we go. There's where I need to go too. So I got a piece that I'm angling off here. And then here in the shed, here's how I'm doing it. I'm basically getting my thing ready. Uh, and then I'm putting some dish soap on it. And where I want to cut it, I just kind of lubricate that area. And then I have a pretty big knife here. So I just want to make sure I have something extra sharp, something big enough to go across the whole thing. And this gets it in one go. This is a... Uh, Falcon even uh, A1. It's a pretty, pretty uh, hefty knife. So anyways, yeah, I'll kind of like measure back here. I'm kind of cutting back a little bit at a time so I can get that hose perfect because I don't want to have to buy these again. These hoses here were definitely a little pricey. I think it was 90 bucks for both. And now I've made cuts. I can't return it anymore. So yeah, just a couple more tries at this and that should work. And then I need to go tomorrow to... Uh, yeah, here's the two hoses that I picked, which are fairly similar to the original one. So yeah, tomorrow I'll, uh, once I get this main hose done, I'll go and get the one that's going to be the T. And uh, I'll bring in what I have and, and then be able to finish it up tomorrow. After a while of trying it out, this is basically what I've got. So I've got what goes to the thermostat, I've got the T out, I've got the clamps on here. And then that's what goes to the lower radiator. And I think I basically did it with just one hose, although <laughs> I cut up some other ones already, so not getting the money back on those. But let's try fitting this. All right, so right here at the top, it's on there nice and snug. It kind of goes down. All right, drop under the car. Yeah, it's gonna clear the alternator. And then here, now coming down from the thermostat up here, you can see there's the end of it coming down. T is going to go out. I'm going to have to make it just go through something up here, out and around. This alternator really gets in the way. And the only hoses I found were by a company called HPS. And it almost fit right. But these blades right here, we're going to dig right into the side of it. So you can see with what I've put together... We got some good clearance here. So that's just enough to get it. And then also too, you have to be careful about this fan, this mechanical fan. So um, if you put your T too low, you know, you, you could hit that fan too. You can't route your cable that clear through here. So I think this is gonna be the best route. So just go out, go under that turbo, back out to the fender. You can see here's the lights. So uh, yeah and then I can route it back. So that, when that comes out, that would be coming out up here and it'd have to go, I don't know, around or something. We'll figure out something and then it's gonna need to go to here.
All right, got it all back together. So it's got my custom hose in there. I took it around the block. There you go, there's that hose. It's holding uh, pretty steady. It's holding pretty steady here about uh, just a little bit over 80. So about this is about the highest it's been. No leaks. So looking pretty good so far. I'm going to take it around the block a little bit more. Now that this is back on the road, it is running a little bit hot. So I'm gonna look at the fan, the mechanical fan, and then the fan clutch. Uh, those are my next suspects, and uh, getting it through emissions, that's still the goal. So it's driving pretty good though. Um, really happy with it, so gonna keep uh, going. It needs motor mounts, those are coming up next. I, I'm gonna get under there and do those. I got, these are pancaked out big time. So that's where we're at with this guy. So yeah, thanks for uh, tuning in. and. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more good updates of actually doing the jobs, but the daytime has been so hot here in Arizona. It's, uh, it's just really bad. I, I, I've been working all at nighttime, so later.